Hello everyone, welcome back to the React on Rails series. Today we're going to be covering deleting posts both from the index page and from the show page. This is once again a React uh, front-end application communicating with a Ruby on Rails 7 API. We're doing this not necessarily because Hotwire isn't cool or popular or something that doesn't get bullied. Uh, we're doing this because companies hire for React and Rails, uh, so people need to know how to use these tools. So if this isn't like your cup of tea, then just go ahead and click away. Uh, but the other thing I want to talk about real quick is we did talk about refactoring to a service layout. Uh, I think we're going to be skipping the service refactor in this video just because uh, it turned out to be a little bit more cumbersome than I thought it would be. And I think it's better if it's just its own video. I'm going to go ahead and do a code dot real quick. We are on the main branch once again, which you can just do by doing a git checkout main. And then you can run your, uh, your git pull to get caught up with whatever you have in your main branch after you merge it in. After you do that, you can then come over to your ticket. In this case, I have a number 11 and click create branch. And then this will just go ahead and do this, but I do have two full screens, so I can actually see the create branch button for some reason. Uh, and then we can go ahead and close this. Come to our terminal and in our terminal, we'll just right click to, uh, you know, set up that branch, check it out. And now I'm gonna hit, uh, I think it's alt shift and plus to split my console. So now you're gonna see I have two consoles, one on the left, one on the right. And then I'm going to do a PWD in the one over here. I'm going to copy this, paste it over here uh, to CD into it. And then I'm going to go ahead and CD into the client. So on the right, I have the client. On the left, I have the Rails server. So I'm going to run Rails S on the left and then NPM run dev on the right. And now we'll have both of these open so we can see stuff happening as we run these. I'll zoom out a bit. You're mostly just looking for colors anyways. You're not really uh, trying to read what it says in here, uh, but that should be good enough. Let's go ahead and let's come into our client. Let's come into our SRC and let's come into our features, posts, and let's start in the post list. So in the post list at the bottom here, uh, we currently have this post body, uh, which kind of doesn't make sense for us to be showing the body here, uh, you know, in addition to the title on the index page. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this post body for now. Go ahead and save that. So you'll see it's just the, the titles there. And then what we'll do is after, oops, after the H2, if my VS code will stop being annoying, we can do a div with a class name equal to post-links. Go ahead and close that. And then we can close this div. Uh, and then in here for these links, we don't want to do a link yet because one's going to be, because one's going to be for the edit link. Instead, we'll just do a button, a on click equal to, and then we want to do uh, the little arrow function here, which will just go to delete post and it'll take in a post.id. Put in the word delete right here after we close this. Uh, and then we'll just copy this and paste it in here. There we go. So we have a button that says delete. Uh, it has a on click for delete post and it takes in a post.id. So that's pretty self explanatory. You can see right here we get these buttons. They're not pretty, uh, but they get the job done. Let's come up here below our use effect and let's actually create this function. So we'll say const. Uh, delete post is equal to async and then we can do a ID and again you can set this up a, a myriad of different ways the next thing we're going to want to do is in here we're just going to want to say uh, we want a try and a catch now this is a little bit deceptive so what what's happening here we're doing the API request this is once again going to go as a delete request to uh, local host port 3000 slash API slash V1 slash post slash and then the ID of 15 or you're gonna say colon ID. So this is gonna match this request or this URL right here, which will go to our Rails app. It then does our response with an await fetch to that location with a method of delete. That's all fine. But the GitHub Copilot generated code here isn't entirely correct. The reason is in our uh, post controller, if we come up here to our app or controllers, and our API v1 post controller, we can see in the delete uh, method that the only thing that really happens in the delete action is we call at post.destroy. We don't actually, uh, you know, do anything else. In here, what we're doing is we're saying this is awaiting a response from the JSON and that's trying to console log this. After console logs it, it does the set post where it does a post filter and it filters out the post with the ID equal to the ID that we deleted, which means it's removing that from our list of posts on the client side. All of that's fine. The issue is if we save this, come over here and refresh, scroll down here to this rem laborum one. If we click delete, you'll see in here, uh, it deletes this just fine, but down here we have a syntax error, unexpected end of JSON input at delete post. We can even take this, if we want to, we can change this to a console.error and a console.error right here. Uh, and then if we refresh again, we can delete one more of these. We'll do this one. 
and you can see unexpected end of JSON input. So that's not ideal, uh, but it's really easy fix because JSON right here that we're waiting for is actually just nothing. So if we get rid of this, we can just leave it as a response.ok, refresh, scroll down here, we'll delete this add up one, click delete. And you can see that was deleted. It's no longer on the client here. The console didn't error out. If we refresh and scroll down, there's no more add up one right here. So this is now working as we would expect it to. Uh, so that's pretty good. The issue is now we want to come over to our post uh, details page. And on our post details page, which is our post show page, so I'll click on this post, we want to add another button here to be able to delete things. So where do we want to do this? Well, let's scroll down here. We have our link to back for our posts. We'll then do something like this with a quote uh, and then a space. So we just have a bar separating these. Then we can do another button with an on click, which is going to be equal to. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and close this real fast. And I'm just going to say delete. So in here, we're going to have a uh, little arrow function, which we can call for delete post. And this will take in the ID. Now there is a quick little trick here, which we can actually just do as delete post. The reason why we can do this here is because there's only one button we're going to be pressing, which means we already know which post this is going to be because there's only one post on the page and it's going to be for this specific ID right here that we're using in our parameters. That means we can take this, we can refactor it a bit. We can just say uh, we want to do a const delete post is equal to an async. We don't need to pass in any parameters though because we already have the param waiting for us. So we can do a try and a catch. And then in here we can do a const response again to the same location, but this time we use the ID that we're grabbing from our use params. Remember these use params grab this uh, parameter straight out of our URL. So that's pretty neat. And after we do that, we're going to check if the response is okay. And then instead of doing what we did here, where we filter the posts, we're actually just going to navigate to slash. Now, this does mean that we do need to finally declare our const navigate in here, which is going to be equal to use navigate. And of course, navigate is what we were importing right here. So that's working now. Now there is a couple issues here. We do have a try block right here, but these always need a catch right now. We don't have one. So let's just do catch error. We can come down here and we can say console dot error and we can error out if we need to. Now we can come over here and refresh. We're on this itake rationa dicta, whatever. Let's click delete. And if we come in here and we scroll up a bit, you can see uh, that hopefully if we scroll down, we don't have this attack day dicta one anymore. Uh, because we just went ahead and we deleted that one as well. So we now have deletion working for two of our pages, which is pretty neat. And I was just looking at the code and I was asking myself if there's something I missed and it looks like there was. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to commit this real quick. We're going to say git add dot git commit dash M and we'll say implement delete feature. And we can do a git push push this up real fast, come over to our GitHub repo. In our GitHub repo, we can now come over to our pull request. We have a new one, so let's click compare and pull request. We can create the PR, pretend that we've read through it and uh, reviewed it, and then we can click on the merge pull request and confirm the merge. After we do this, let's come over to our issues and we'll just create a new issue. We'll say uh, missing uh, the edit button. I can't edit any posts. So it's just a typical bug report you would get from a user. So let's say you get over here, you take a look at this. You're like, yeah, I can handle this. So you assign it to yourself. We go to the labels. It's a bug. And then we say we need to create a branch for this. So we come over here, we create a branch. We click create branch and then we copy this. Let's come back into our terminal now. F11, right click, paste, copy this branch. And now let's go ahead and let's implement this edit functionality. So what I'm noticing is if we come over here uh, on the post show page, I'm not seeing a button to edit this post. So let's go ahead and let's do that real fast. To do this, there's two places we can add this again. In our post details, we can create a link to edit our posts. So down here we have our back to posts button, right? In our post details. What we can do is we can say we have our back to post button, we have our delete button. Let's do one more is going to be the same thing we have down there and then up here we're going to do a link to equals and this is going to go to the slash post slash post id slash edit and then this is going to be our link we can go ahead and save this we'll come over here to our post uh, index page we can uh, start our server first of all we'll start our server and then hopefully if we refresh this will go away now on our hello world 2 we can click edit that'll take us to our edit form let's get rid of these twos click save. We can see right here that we had yellow text, which means that works. So our edit form is working. We can actually get to it now. Let's go back to our posts and let's also add this to our post list real quick. So on our post list, 
uh, we can just say uh, we want to have a link to edit our post right here in our post links, something like this, uh, tab this over. And then what we can do is we can just put another one of these little separators here. And now if you want to edit your post, you can just click edit on one of these. So let's edit this first Hello World one and we'll just say, I don't know, round robin. Why? I don't know. It's just what I'm thinking of right now. Click save, go back to our post, and now it's the round robin post and that's working as expected. So let's go ahead and let's stop our server. At this point, you would probably run your tests or whatever, but that doesn't matter. Let's do a git add, uh, git add dot, git commit dash M, and then we'll say updated uh, or fixed, fixed missing edit links. Then we can do a git push over here and we can click on the missing edit button. We'll go over to our pull requests. We'll compare and pull request. We'll create the pull request. And then we'll come over here to our files changed real quick to make sure that this is only the changes we want. So we have right here, we have these uh, links to the edit post right here. This seems fine and this seems fine. So let's review this and say, it looks good to me. Submit the review. The reason why I'm doing this is because I didn't like reclone any of the branches. So I just wanna make sure that this is the most up-to-date version. So I can go ahead and I can merge this. And now I can say, all right, we've probably got our basic CRUD functionality up and running. So in the next video, what I want to cover is refactoring the uh, very, very repetitive delete and the other get requests into a service that we can use, which will clean up a lot of this code. And then after we do that refactor, I then want to set up some testing so that we can move forward. Because I think just testing would be a good thing to get familiar with, and it'd be a good way to uh, prep the application for some of the bigger features that some of you guys have been requesting. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video though. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next one.